Welcome to David Copperfield's novel. Written by Charles Dickens. Summarized and prepared by Walla Samir. Audio recorded by AI Technology. Chapter 11. I run away to my aunt. David ran away to his aunt in Dover. He was really young and had no experience in traveling alone. So, he was stolen. He had only three pence. He sold his waistcoat to continue to his destination. He sold it for nine pence. He had no place to sleep in, he fell asleep on a haystack near his old school. He wished he could be inside with the other boys, but Steerforth and the others were no longer there. In the morning, he woke up because of the school bell and the heat of the sun. He walked for 23 miles that day. It was a long and tiring journey. After six days, he got to Dover. At that time, he was hungry, thirsty, tired and broke. He asked about his aunt, but no one helped him. He was depressed. A man near the marketplace told him the place of her house. My opinion is that she won't offer you anything. The man said and gave David a penny which he accepted to buy some bread. He asked about her home in a shop, her maid was there and led him to the house. When he got to the house, he was in an awful condition. His hat was bent and his hair hadn't been brushed since he left London. His face, neck, and hands were sunburned. He was covered from head to foot in white dust. He hesitated to get into the house. He was about to leave when the door opened and a lady wearing gardening gloves and carrying a gardening knife came out. He knew it was Miss Betsy from her walk as his mom described to him before. When she saw him she said, go away. No boys here. She was digging the ground when he got closer and told her, if you please, uh, ma'am. If you please, aunt, I am your nephew. I am David Copperfield of Blunderstone. You came to my mother the night I was born. I have been very unhappy since she died. I have suffered and been taught nothing. I've had to do awful work, and now I've run away. I've walked all the way here and never slept in bed since I set out. He stopped talking and cried. His aunt took him by the collar into the house. She called Janet, the maid, to bring Mr. Dick, who is her friend and lived in Dover. She usually relied on his advice. She introduced David to him and asked him, what shall I do with him? I want some good advice. Mr. Dick, if I were you, I would wash him. Immediately, she called Janet to heat the bath. The next day, Miss Betsy wrote to Mr. Murdstone about David's arrival. In a few days, the Murdstones came to return him back to London to work. She saw what kind of man Mr. Murdstone was. She didn't like his sister either. She asked Mr. Dick's advice who told her to send them away. She then made herself and Mr. Dick David's new guardians. 
The questions in this chapter are Answer the following questions 1. Why did David have to buy his waistcoat? 2. How was David's journey to his aunt? 3. It was difficult and tiring. David's money and all he had was stolen. He had to sell some pieces of his clothes to buy food. He went to Dover on foot. He slept in the street a haystack. He was hungry, thirsty, and tired. 3. How was David's condition when he got to Dover? He was hungry, thirsty, and tired out. His clothes were awful. His hat was bent. His hair wasn't brushed. His face and neck were sunburnt. He was covered in dust. 4. What did Ms. Betsy do with David when she knew his story? 5. What did the Murdstones want to do with David when he ran away to his aunt? They wanted to return him to London to work in the factory. Comment on the following quotation. 1. If you please, ma'am. If you please, aunt, I am your nephew. 2. You came, you came to my mother the night I was born. I have been very unhappy since she died. I have Su suffered and been taught nothing. See you in the next chapters. If this content is beneficial to you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.